Welcome to our detailed exploration of Salmonella, a significant cause of foodborne illness. Salmonella is a type of bacteria that can contaminate a variety of foods, leading to serious gastrointestinal infections. In this guide, we'll delve into what Salmonella is, how it causes illness, and the common foods and practices that can lead to contamination. We'll also cover the signs and symptoms of salmonella infection, the treatment options available, and key strategies to prevent foodborne outbreaks. So stay with us as we uncover the essentials of managing and avoiding salmonella-related foodborne illness. Salmonella infection, also known as salmonellosis, is a common illness caused by bacteria that affect the intestines. These bacteria usually live in the intestines of animals and humans and are passed out of the body in poop People often get infected by eating or drinking contaminated food or water. Some people with salmonella don't show any symptoms, but most will start to have diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps between 8 and 72 hours after being exposed. Generally, healthy people get better within a few days to a week without needing special treatment. In some cases, diarrhea from salmonella can lead to severe dehydration and may need urgent medical care. There is also a risk of serious complications if the infection spreads beyond the intestines. Traveling to places with unsafe drinking water and poor sanitation increases the risk of getting a salmonella infection. Salmonella infection often comes from eating raw or undercooked meat, poultry, eggs, or egg products, or from drinking unpasteurized milk. The time it takes for symptoms to appear after exposure, known as the incubation period, ranges from six hours to six days. Many people mistakenly think they have the stomach flu when they have salmonella. Common signs and symptoms of salmonella infection include diarrhea, stomach cramps, fever, nausea, vomiting, chills, headache, blood in the stool. These symptoms typically last a few days to a week. Diarrhea can continue for up to 10 days, and it may take several months for bowel movements to return to normal. Some types of salmonella can cause typhoid fever, a serious and sometimes deadly illness that is more frequent in developing countries. Most people with salmonella infection don't need to see a doctor, as it usually goes away on its own within a few days. However, if the affected person is an infant, young child, older adult, or someone with a weakened immune system, it's important to seek medical help if the illness lasts more than a few days. There is a high fever or blood in the stool. There are signs of dehydration, such as urinating less than usual, dark colored urine, or a dry mouth and tongue. As salmonella bacteria are found in the intestines of people, animals, and birds, most people get infected by eating food or drinking water that has been tainted by feces. Common sources of infection are raw meat, poultry, and seafood. These can be contaminated if feces get on them during butchering or if seafood comes from polluted water, raw or undercooked eggs. Even though an egg's shell seems protective, some chickens lay eggs that are already infected with salmonella. Raw eggs are often used in homemade dishes like mayonnaise and hollandaise sauce. Unpasteurized dairy products. Milk and dairy products that haven't been pasteurized can contain salmonella. Pasteurization kills harmful bacteria, including salmonella. Fruits and vegetables, fresh produce, especially if imported, may be washed or irrigated with contaminated water. Cross-contamination can also happen in the kitchen when juices from raw meat touch uncooked foods, like salads. Many infections happen when people don't wash their hands properly after using the toilet, changing diapers, or handling contaminated food. Touching something that is contaminated and then putting your fingers in your mouth can also spread the infection. Pets, especially birds and reptiles, can carry salmonella on their feathers, fur, or skin, or in their feces. Some pet foods might be contaminated with salmonella, which can also spread the bacteria to animals. There are several factors that may increase your risk of a salmonella infection, include International travel. Salmonella infections, including those causing typhoid fever, are more common in developing countries where sanitation practices are poor. Travel to these regions increases the risk of exposure to contaminated food and water. Handling animals, pets and animals, especially birds and reptiles, can carry salmonella bacteria. 
This risk extends to environments where animals live, such as pens, tanks, cages, and litter boxes. Contact with these animals or their habitats can increase your risk of infection. Some health conditions and medications can contribute to this, such as stomach or bowel disorders. Conditions like inflammatory bowel disease can damage the lining of your intestines, making it easier for salmonella to take hold. Medications that reduce stomach acidity, such as antacids, also lower the body's natural defense against salmonella by allowing more bacteria to survive. Recent antibiotic use. Antibiotics can disrupt the balance of good bacteria in your intestines, which may impair your ability to fend off infections, including salmonella. Also, immune system issues such as weakened immune system. Certain medical conditions and treatments can weaken your immune system, increasing your risk of salmonella infection. Conditions like HIV, AIDS, sickle cell disease, and malaria, as well as medications such as corticosteroids and anti-rejection drugs used after organ transplants, can compromise your body's ability to fight off infections. While salmonella infections are generally not life-threatening, complications can arise, particularly in vulnerable groups such as infants, young children, older adults, pregnant women, and those with weakened immune systems. Dehydration, severe diarrhea can lead to dehydration if you can't drink enough fluids to replace what you've lost. Signs of dehydration include urinating less than usual or having dark-colored urine, dry mouth and tongue, sunken eyes, no tears when crying, feeling unusually tired, irritability, or confusion. Bacteremia, if salmonella enters your bloodstream, it can spread to other parts of the body, leading to severe conditions such as urinary tract infection, UTI, infection of the urinary system, meningitis, infection of the tissues surrounding the brain and spinal cord, endocarditis, infection of the lining of the heart or heart valves, osteomyelitis, infection of the bones or bone marrow, infection of blood vessels, especially concerning if you have had vascular surgery, reactive arthritis, also known as Reiter's syndrome. This condition can develop after a salmonella infection and is characterized by eye irritation, painful urination, painful joints, Understanding these risk factors and potential complications can help in taking preventive measures and seeking timely medical attention if needed. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, is responsible for overseeing and updating the inspection, sampling, and testing programs for poultry and meat. Their goal is to reduce the number of salmonella infections in the United States. To avoid getting salmonella and spreading it to others, follow these guidelines. For safe food handling, Wash your hands. Proper hand washing helps prevent salmonella from transferring to your mouth or to the food you are preparing. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds after. Using the toilet changing a diaper. Handling raw meat or poultry. Cleaning up pet feces. Touching pets or animals, especially reptiles and birds. Keep things separate. To avoid cross-contamination, store raw meat, poultry, and seafood separately from other foods in your refrigerator. Use separate cutting boards for raw meat and for fruits and vegetables if possible. Never put cooked food on a plate that previously held raw meat without washing it first. Clean food preparation surfaces thoroughly with soap and water. Avoid raw eggs. Many homemade recipes like cookie dough, ice cream, mayonnaise, hollandaise sauce, and eggnog contain raw eggs. If you must consume raw eggs, ensure they have been pasteurized to kill any potential bacteria. Also, cook and store food properly. Cook thoroughly. Make sure all food is cooked to the appropriate internal temperature to kill harmful bacteria. Refrigerate or freeze promptly. Store food in the refrigerator or freezer soon after cooking to prevent bacterial growth. These preventive measures are especially crucial when preparing food for infants, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems. Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive journey through salmonella, a major cause of foodborne illness. In this guide, we've explored what salmonella is, how it causes illness, and the various ways it can contaminate our food. We've also discussed the signs and symptoms of salmonella infection, treatment options, and essential preventive strategies. 
Salmonella can lead to serious gastrointestinal infections if proper precautions are not taken. By understanding how to safely handle food, avoid contamination, and recognize the symptoms, you can greatly reduce the risk of infection for yourself and others. Remember, preventing salmonella involves not only careful food preparation and hygiene practices, but also staying informed about potential risks, especially when traveling or handling animals. Stay vigilant and practice these safety measures to keep salmonella and other foodborne pathogens at bay. Your health and the health of those you care for depend on it. Please click on the next video for more LiveGood info. Thank you very much.